Welcome back to TV5 News at 9. It's now time for Education Matters with our great friend, Dr. Craig Douglas. Dr. Douglas, thanks for being here this morning. Good morning. It's great to be here. Yes, and already we are talking about back to school season because it is here already. And today we're talking about tips for getting ready for college. So the first thing to talk about, college students soon busy with classes and activities. So right now is actually a good time for them to get those appointments together. So doctors, dentists, anything else you could think of. So what should students set up before the school year does start back? Yeah, I think it, it was great uh, advice that I picked up off the web, to be honest mm -hmm. with you, uh, Sierra. I thought it was a, a great tip for parents and grandparents. I mean, while the students still here before they've gone off, why not get those appointments caught up? Uh, the, the health check might include some vaccination updates, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm not sure what's actually required. Sometimes it varies by doctor, but it's a good time to make sure everything's current and, and ready to go so that the student doesn't go off to campus and then contract some sort of illness, right? Yeah. And also while they're home, I mean, insurance and everything is mm -hmm. a lot more uh, accessible. Mm -hmm. When you get away on campus, it, it's maybe a little bit more problematic depending upon the circumstance. Same same kind of logic for dental appointments, uh, any vision appointments. Get those things taken care of before they go off and then they can concentrate on their studies, right? Mm -hmm. And Dr. Douglas, speaking of college kids, especially for first time kids going to orientation, it's always exciting but it can get a bit overwhelming. So what kind of documents should kid be, kids be prepared to take to orientation? Yeah, I think that's a great point and I would say check with the college or the university ahead of time to, for specific requirements, but it might be things like social security card, some sort of ID like driver's license, other Michigan ID. Uh, there might be some other things that are necessary. For example, if a student has intention of study abroad, passport and other credentials might be necessary. It's just being proactive, right, to check mm -hmm. these things ahead of time. And no question is a dumb question. So ask, yeah. ask, ask. Yeah. What should I bring? What do I need? What's required? And of course, if the student wants to work while at school, what are some requirements that typically are asked for at the time of employment? And Dr. Douglas, starting college really can be, you know, just, it's exciting, but it's scary at the same time. So what advice would you give to freshmen as they're getting ready to embark on their new journey? I think keep eyes wide open, ears open, and, and listen and, and ask questions. Like I said, I don't mean to repeat myself, but yeah. I think sometimes uh, I'll talk about myself. I think I was a little bit more of an introvert and maybe a little afraid to ask a question that would make me look uh, uninformed. The truth is change is happening so fast we need to ask and be informed. Uh, one of the tips I saw on a website people.com suggested that students as they get ready for college check on technology, mm -hmm. specifically their cell phone, their iPhone. Why? Because colleges are communicating mm -hmm. using technology. Uh, in many cases students will be given a university uh, email address mm -hmm. or other ID that they'll need for communication purposes. So again, thinking ahead of the time as much as possible, I think is great advice. Um, a story from my background, uh, when I was at Saginaw Valley, we would help students unload as they would arrive yeah. at campus. And it's amazing the packing and the detail and the planning that goes into it. Yeah. So not to underestimate those essentials too, whether mm -hmm. it's microwaves, flat screens, w laundry, detergent, whatever, all those things, being proactive, looking mm -hmm. for buys ahead of time saves that rush at the time of uh, entering campus. It saves that last minute trip that you got to make to Walmart and get all the stuff that you forgot to pack. So that's great advice, Dr. Douglas. Yeah. yeah. Well, we thank you so much for your expertise as always. Well, I love, I love doing this and yeah. I wish all of our incoming college students the best yes. experience possible. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Douglas. All right. So for more information about today's topic, Go to the lifestyle page on WNEM.com. We'll be right back.